Hey guys, who else loves to watch the sunset? Like it's my favorite thing. Can you guys see how beautiful that is? Like, oh my goodness! Wow, the Gombe is really hot. My favorite thing about it is the sunset. Let's unbox my groceries, shall we? The most normal thing, eggs. I got some bananas. And I was going to keep them like this. Then I remembered that, ooh, they said keep them this other way to prevent them from spoiling quick. Also got some carrots because I was going to make carrot sauce later on. I got some snacks for tea, some baby wipes. I got tomato paste and seasoning cubes, Maggie. And then I got sardine. It's been so long since I had it and conflicts. I mean, guys, good morning. <laughs> so it's currently 5:45 a.m. and I'm supposed to have like a really early day because it's going to be a long one. So I woke up and what's on my checklist to do today? I have to do my makeup using some products that I received in PR. Mm. Ah, I have to eat, have my medicine, and then yeah, I have to do someone's hair and makeup. So wish me luck, guys. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys so after getting up so early and setting up for filming i already started even did my intro and everything and they took light they took light and it's still very dark like it's just 7 a.m so the sun isn't up yet for me to use you know daylight oh god i'm already panicking because i have stuff to do later and i can't postpone this filming if it doesn't happen today it has to be at night and i hate that oh okay i'm gonna calm down and hope that today is different and they bring the light back so i can finish what i'm supposed to do this is the look i created i just hated the footage so i only took pictures more groceries because christmas alone doesn't have to be boring just got some bread for sandwiches some hollandia yogurt some maltina and some butter and yes my hands are dirty because that's the life of an mua Merry Christmas guys. Merry Christmas. I know um, this year has really been crazy but I just know that today is a day of celebration and however you choose to spend it in your bed, um, serving visitors, eating food until you're stuffed in your face. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Well, guess what happened to me? I'm here giving you all this positivity talk but guess what happened? So I had a dream last night. 
that my phone was shattered when I woke up. Like back and front was nothing to write home about. When I woke up, I was like, oh, thank God, that was a dream. Then guess what? I went to cook this morning in the kitchen, took my phone, and I was trying to record what I was cooking. Guess what? Guess what? The phone fell face flat from the top of the table to the floor. I just heard this shattering sound, you guys. My screen is nothing to write home about, but you know what? I can't be bothered. Ain't nobody gonna do my shine today. Eh, we thank God because it's an iPhone and it works really well, even when the screen is bad. So you know what? We move. We move. So I've grated my tomatoes, pepper and onions and I have deboned my dry fish. I've also cut my carrots, chopped them. Anyways, I'm going to start by putting some vegetable oil and frying my onions. And after frying the onions, I'm going to put in the paste. And then I'm going to let the paste sit for a little while and fry. And then I'll start to add my spices. I like to add sugar to my tomato paste to reduce the sourness of the tomatoes and then I'll be adding some thyme and some of this spice. I haven't really sat down to know the name but it's a combo of spices and then I add my maggi cubes. I'm using three for this. Now it was very strong so I'm just going to leave it so the heat can melt it down and then I'm going to add my salt just a little bit and then add the fish. And then I'm going to add some water because I want it to like really cook and kind of increase in size if you know what I mean. The carrot comes last because I really don't want it to overcook. I want it to stay crunchy. And that's really it. I'm going to enjoy this with some rice later. So I quickly dolled up so I can get ready for work. I'm gonna have breakfast and Hopefully when I go and I finish working, my face will still look a little bit presentable before the main event. I'll see you guys there. Bye. You guys, do you know what they mean when somebody is knackered? Like, I left home since I think 11 and I'm only just coming back now. It's almost 7 pm. Christmas indeed. <laughs> I was so freaking tired. So tired, guys. But don't worry. I was able to get a little footage for you guys and hopefully that will be fun enough to watch. I hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas. Let me know how you spent it. Did you spend it sharing food for your neighbors? Did you spend it in an outing? Did you also like watch movies and like stuff your face with food? What did you do? Let me know in the comments. And I wish you a prosperous new year. Yes. I'm finally eating my Christmas chow at about 9.30 p.m. I'll just have a look. So beautiful in it.